Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy you stopped by. Today, I am participating in an exciting collaboration put on by Mary Ellen over at Prepper Potpourri. Now, last month she emailed me and asked if I would like to be part of it. And it is a pantry challenge. Now, what that means is we can only make recipes with shelf stable ingredients that we find in our pantry. That means no produce, no fresh fruit, no fresh herbs, um, not even like fresh potatoes. Now, when she asked me to, if I wanted to be part of it, I was so excited because there's so many great other channels. But then the other part of me was so nervous because I was like, oh my goodness, how, what am I going to make where that I just use stuff from the can or the box? But I just kept thinking and I said, oh my gosh, I've got to adapt one of my favorite recipes and that is a chicken and potato coconut curry. Now, um, normally it uses fresh carrots, fresh potatoes, um, fresh herbs, but I made some adjustments and I think it came out just as good as the original. It's a quick to make recipe. You could make it in 20 minutes. By the time your rice is done, your curry will be done. Now, some people are like, oh, I don't like coconut things, but the coconut milk in the curry is just gonna give it a nice richness and um, it's not that much of a coconut taste. Um, so anyway, there are 12 participants, including myself in the challenge. Now I am not smart enough to remember them off the top of my head. I tried, but then I gave up. So <laughs> I just wrote them down. So um, it's Mary Ellen um, from Prepper Potpourri and she's the one hosting it. There is Tuli Lou Create, Alderman Farms, Crazy Daisies, Diane the Canning Nana, Fermented Homestead, Helga's Pennsylvania Kitchen, Jenny's Scratch Made Kitchen, Linda's Pantry, Mennonite Farmhouse, and Sutton's Days. Now I'm gonna have a link to all their channels below, so when you're done watching mine, please go over and watch all their amazing recipes. And um, they, a lot of these um, channels are home canners, so they probably have some amazing things that they're gonna be making. I myself am not a canner, although I really want to get into it, hopefully soon. So anyway, with all that being said, let's go make this curry. You're gonna need one can of whole potatoes, one can of fire roasted tomatoes, one can of full fat coconut milk, a small can of sliced water chestnuts, two large cans of chunk chicken breast, some chicken broth, some freeze dried cilantro, some minced garlic, some chopped onion, some ground ginger, some curry powder, I'm using the mild, and some brown sugar, tomato paste, and peanut butter. Now in a heavy bottom skillet or Dutch oven, you're gonna add two tablespoons of the oil. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our spices. I'm putting in my curry powder. Now the reason that we're doing this is we want to bloom these spices. Once um, you add it with oil and heat, all the extra flavor from the dry... And you're just gonna stir this over medium heat for one minute and it's gonna smell amazing. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and add in our two tablespoons of tomato paste. And then you're also just gonna stir that around for another minute so we get that raw acidic taste out of the tomato paste. And then you can go ahead and add in your can of fire roasted tomatoes your one and a half cups of chicken broth. And you're gonna stir this around and let it simmer for five minutes. That way we can rehydrate um, 
the onions and the garlic, then go ahead and add in your brown sugar. Now you guys, when you get the can of coconut milk, shake it up. If you don't hear any noise, you want that one because that means it's gonna have a lot of coconut cream in it. Now I just wanna show you the chunk chicken. I rinsed it and drained it. Now if you see any really big pieces, just kind of break those up so you're not getting a huge chunk of chicken with your bite of curry. Now I have my quartered whole potatoes and my water chestnuts. And after the five minutes of simmering the sauce, we're gonna add those in along with our coconut milk. Now you guys, can you see how much of the coconut cream is in there and not that much of the liquid? That's what you want. So just make sure you shake the can and if you don't hear it, any liquid, that means it's a good brand of coconut milk. So just give that a nice stir and incorporate all the milk. You're gonna add in your peanut butter and then your chunks of chicken. And then basically all we're going to do is warm everything through and let it simmer another five minutes. And this is how it looks. It will, it will thicken up a bit and you're gonna um, just kind of look for any large chunks of chicken and if you find them, just break it up. Now you're gonna add salt and pepper to taste. I don't like to add salt until the end. So that's an individual choice of how much you wanna add. And this is what it looks like. It is so good, you guys. Now I'm gonna show you how I plated it up, so hang on. So I put my steamed rice in a bowl. I topped it with my chicken and potato curry. Now this is optional, but I took some sweetened flaked coconut and toasted it in a pan. And this is gonna add a really nice texture to it as well as a nice coconut flavor. Isn't it beautiful? So stay tuned because I'm gonna do a taste test. Okay guys, let's give this a try. And I'm gonna try not to take a too big a bite because I always do and then I look really stupid. So I'm taking a little bite. It's so good. You get the creaminess from the coconut milk. It just has that slight coconut flavor. You can taste the fire roasted tomatoes, the peanut butter. Now, normally just chicken out of a can is not that exciting, but when you simmer it in this sauce, it takes on all those flavors and it becomes really delicious. Now I love the toasted coconut on top because that's gonna give it a nice crunchy texture since we don't have a lot of crunchy things going on, but we do have the water chestnuts, which is a really nice touch. And I think your family and friends are really gonna like this. It's something different. A lot of people have never made a curry because it can be intimidating, but today I showed you a really easy way that you can do it in under 30 minutes. So give it a try, let me know if you do, and don't forget to check out all the other channels in the collaboration that are linked below. We're also gonna be doing a different recipe every single month, and there is some downloads that you can click on where you can make a binder to keep all your recipes in. So you'll have like a pantry challenge cookbook, which I think is really awesome. So you guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, just hit that red box below. We will see you on the next episode. Bye everybody.